Each mart is one of the most uh, highest scoring throws. It's also one of the most difficult to execute. Tonight we're going to look at the grip and we're going to look at the entry. And I think the key to it is finding a version of Uchimata to suit the body type. So it doesn't matter if you've got short levers or long limbs, there'll be a version here that will suit your style of judo and suit your morphology. So we're going to look at classic entry, classic Uchimata. Um, but with a slightly higher grip, you know, I'm very tall with long levers, so instead of taking traditional uh, collar and sleeve, lapel and sleeve, I'm just going to slide my uh, right hand higher here under the ear. Okay, now I've got more head control. The sleeve grip is very important. Okay, the deeper I go on the sleeve, and notice where I'm holding, I'm ho holding under the elbow. Okay, so when I do get my sleeve full, it's very easy for me to break balance, okay? If I'm here on the end of the sleeve, it's going to be much harder for me to pull and open my partner. So if you watch Ono, if you watch Inui, they sometimes take this pocket grip, or they take a really deep grip, almost under the tricep, because they know when they start to pull and turn, their partner comes forward so quickly and easily, okay? And this is so, so important. This hand also has to work very hard with the balance break, okay? This works in unison with the, with the sleeve. So my lapel grip is taking the head, my sleeve grip is taking the shoulder and the arm, okay? So it's this part of the body I'm trying to move forwards and up. You notice my posture? Dynamic posture. So my legs are bent, my hips are below a piece. Yeah, so I've got a strong but power base to work from. So the grip, deep on the sleeve, as high as you can really, okay, and underneath. And I turn my little finger out. Imagine you've got a wrist watch and you're trying to look at the time. My collar hand nice and high under the ear, and I'm turning again my little finger out and around. So I'm bringing my fingers out and forwards. So Uki's balance is in this space in front of me. I don't want to pull him on me. It's really important that I don't break his balance onto mine. Now I'm stuck, okay? I need my legs, I need my hips to be free. So I'm trying to break balance here into the space in front of me. Now, the footwork we're gonna use, it's a classic two-step, okay? So without breaking balance, my footwork is gonna be here, one, two. So my hips clear, and they're facing the way I want to throw. It's key, which any technique, whichever technique you use in judo, your hips, where all your power is generated from, facing the direction in which you're throwing. So for Uchimata, I want to throw forwards. So it's very important that my feet are in position, my hips are facing that way. This is why when I pull, I make sure that I don't pull him onto my hips. I pull him out and forwards here. Okay, so he's coming past me in this trajectory. Okay, my hips are put, my hips are loaded. My leg, my support leg is nice and deep. Okay, now my front leg can lift and do the damage. Now, when you're fully committed to Chimata, it's natural that your body is gonna roll over Okay, it's very hard to stay standing because I want my body position, I want my balance to be going forwards. Okay, it's very important that we're traveling in the same trajectory. So I'm not still, I'm pulling and moving forwards at the same time. My hips are free. And my attack leg, this front leg, I lift the knee, point the toe to create power. So just so you can see my hips moving, one, two, and then I'll lift to create power. When I'm in this position, at the end, I turn my head. Okay, so first I strike right through on the upper leg, and at the end, I turn my head and keep pulling the sleeve. So important throughout the whole of the throw that I'm pulling my partner's body, his head, his arms, forwards and up.
If I stop to do that, then I can lose control of the throw, maybe get countered, or I land on my front with Uki on top of me. Okay, so the finish is really important that throughout the action of the throw, I roll through and I'm in control. 